Hi and welcome to the show. My guest today is truly inspiring. A graduate from MIT with a BS in Management Science, she is a self-published author with a passion for writing. But her full-time job is as Regional Communications Manager with Dahlberg Africa. Her first novel of Goats and Poisoned Oranges tackles issues around love, revenge, infidelity and betrayal. In the six months that you took off, you learned French. Yes. So you obviously have a, this love for languages. I love languages. Um, you travelled, you went to West Africa. Yeah. Uh, first time to West Africa? Uh, first time to Francophone. To West Francophone Africa. Africa. So that was the reason for learning the French yes. uh, beforehand. And then you went to South America as well. Yes. First time to South America. Yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about those experiences. One, Francophone Africa, how different is it and how much, um, how much did you... Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? And tell me a little bit about South America as well. Yeah, it was, it was such an amazing experience. So I spent two months, uh, I first went to South America. I, I, I started off here, learned French a bit, then went to South America. I guess the sequence is almost doesn't make sense. Why was I going to South America after learning French? Got to yes, South I was America. about to say that there are not many places you speak French in South America. Yeah, um, so I got there and ended up, I, 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 and I was traveling alone for two months, backpacking. Um, you know, staying in hostels, so proper, like proper cheap backpacking. And I was in Brazil, Chile, Argentina, and Bolivia. It was such an amazing experience because I knew I loved traveling, but this really opened up my eyes because for me, this was such a different experience. Uh, in Brazil, the place I spent the longest time was Bahia. And I went, I went to Bahia because of a song. So it was an Angeli Kijo song called Bahia. And the first time I heard that song, I had to go. Google, what's Bahia? And I found out it's this region in uh, Brazil that has this, de uh, this dark, uh, this deep um, African heritage and culture and music and religion. And I always said, I'll go to Bahia. So spent quite a bit of time in Bahia. Almost didn't leave Bahia because it was just, it was wonderful. It was was a it place everything for you expected it? Everything and more. It was just a place for artists. You walk down the street, there's all these galleries. You go down a few more steps, there's dramas. And everyone who met you, asked, you're from Africa. Oh, Africa, I love Africa. There was such an attachment in Bahia to, to the continent that people even knew that there's a Yoruba house. So they even could trace like which part of uh, the continent they'd come from. So for me, it was such an eye-opening experience just seeing the relationship between Africa and Africans who left and the fact that we're still, we're the same people. Thank, Thank you. you again. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very, very much. Such a pleasure. And, uh,